Hi, this is Seth from Web Courses Bangkok, and today I'm going to show you how to install WordPress locally on your own computer. So to start off, we need a, we need a web server. So we're going to head over to ApacheFriends.org and download ZAMP. ZAMP is an installer that bundles together Apache, your web server, MySQL, your database, and PHP, the programming language together into a single installer to make it easy to install it on your own computer. You're going to find the appropriate installer. I'm running Mac OS, so I clicked on the uh, ZAMP for Mac OS and uh, installed it and downloaded it and ran it. And the following control panel pops up and you're going to want to click Start uh, on Apache and Start on MySQL. This control panel lets you know whether the um, whether these services are running or not. Green means that they're running, so Apache and MySQL should be running. To test to see if everything's working, we go ahead and head over to localhost. Localhost is your computer's web server now. The next step is to download WordPress, and for that we head over to wordpress.org, and we download the current version of WordPress, which is 3.1, and once we've downloaded it, we need to unzip it. Once WordPress is unzipped, let's rename it to whatever uh, the name of the site or blog that you're creating that you'll be working on will be. So I'm going to call mine my blog. And we're going to copy this folder. and then find the ZAMP uh, HT docs, which is the web server root. So click on applications, go to ZAMP, find HD docs, and paste, which will copy the WordPress folder, which we re renamed to my blog, into the HT docs folder. Once we have that, we can test to see if it's actually there by going to localhost, forward slash my blog and it worked and this starts the process of installing WordPress so we create the configuration file and now it's asking for information about a database but we don't have a database yet so what we're going to want to do is go to localhost forward slash php my admin now PHP my admin lets you administer your database from a web interface and that's what PHP my admin is so we can go ahead and create a database right in here and we'll call it my blog DB short for database and we'll create it now that the database exists we can flip back to our WordPress installation and continue we called our database name myblogdb. The username for the SQL database is root. I knew that because over here in the getting started for XAMPP, it says, what is the username and password for, for MySQL? Root and password, there is none. So we're going to put in root, remove the password, and submit. Excellent. We can now continue to run the install and fill in information about our WordPress installation, like our site title, which I'll call my blog, username, password, an email address, and we can install WordPress. And there we are. WordPress is installed. We can log into the admin console to make sure everything's working. And there we have it. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope it's been informative. And uh, happy St. Patty's Day.